What up? I'm back with another brush pack for Procreate and this time it's the bubble pack. The bubble pack is an update for the bubble brush which is part of my 3D pack but I felt like it deserved the whole pack on its own with more brushes in this theme. A quick note in the beginning, this brush pack is free for everyone who already has the 3D pack at this point but this offer won't be part of the 3D pack after this release. I hope I didn't make it too complicated. I just want to say thank you to everyone who already supported me on the 3D pack. And if you just got the bubble brush, which was available as a standalone option on my shop until this point, you can access a discount for the bubble pack. To access these deals, you just need to use the same email address you used in your first purchase. And should you have any problems with this, just reach out to me and we figure this out. To everyone who got the brushes via Design Cuts or Creative Market, you need to reach out to me as well, since I'm not able to offer these deals directly on the marketplaces. Alright, let's jump right in. To give you a quick overview, we have 22 Procreate brushes. I also worked on 5 different sets of worksheets on the whole outfit for each category. And this pack comes with a comprehensive manual and a video guide. First up we have the classic brushes. This category features transparent bubble-like brushes with and without color dynamics for a wide range of bubble effects. These brushes are based on the original bubble brush. The first two brushes were the ones without color dynamics and next up we have the classic color which has color dynamics and means that it changes the color based on the pressure you apply. Next up we have the classic color plus and this one features a broader spectrum of colors when you apply pressure. The classic stroke changes the color based on the pressure you apply and for each stroke you make. And we wrap up this category with the classic broad, a simple broad tip bubble like transparent brush. And I also made a version with color dynamics for this broader brush as well. Moving on to the next brush category, we have the fill brushes. And the fill brushes are filled out bubble like brushes, which give you full control over the colors, allowing you to overlay and blend strokes. And you can control the colors just like you do with any other dual brushes. The primary color, the color in the top right color circle, is the color for the highlight. It's also the same technique as for the 3D brushes of my 3D pack. So if you're already familiar with that, you shouldn't have any problems. And if you should do have problems, you can find a detailed explanation with examples in the brush pack manual or in the video guide. Moving on with the second brush in this category, the Fill Alt brush. And this one has a slightly different bubble effect for more variety. Next up we have the Fill Blend. And this brush lets you blend your strokes together and gives you one cohesive bubble effect. And of course, this blending brush is also available for the Fill Alt brush. And the last brush of this brush category is the Fill Shade. This brush changes the shade of the fill in based on the pressure you apply. Jumping to the next category, we have the color brushes. And these two brushes have a color dynamic in the fill-in, which gives a really exciting effect. Especially when you have white set as your primary color. This brush category features two brushes, the color minus and the color plus. And these just differentiate between if you're going into a negative or a positive direction on the color spectrum, slightly determining the order of the colors you see in the gradient. The fourth category of brushes are the weird brushes and I think it's quite a fitting name. They have this weird stripe like effect that follows you while you make your stroke but create this crazy texture. 
And building up on this first brush is the weird color. This brush has a layer underneath which gives you a stronger 3D effect. And you can control this just like you do with any other dual brush. Pick a color for the secondary and a color for the primary. In this case I have the pink as my secondary and my white as a primary color and get this strong highlight effect. The last brush of this category is the weird shade and this brush changes the shade based on the pressure you apply giving you this strong 3D effect. It also works great on a white background. Alright, next up we have the broad brushes. This brush category features three brushes. The broad fill, which is a broad shape bubble brush, behaving just like the fill brushes. Then we have the broad blend, which lets you blend your strokes together. And last but not least, we have the broad color, a broad tip bobble brush, behaving just like the color brushes. And for the last category, we have the extra brushes, starting off with the Schlummer Pinsel. The classic and clean pressure sensitive round tip brush, which is perfect for finer details. For the very last brush we have the extra outline, a round tip brush with an outline effect with no fill in, which creates these nice fun little details. Alright, that's it with this walkthrough, I hope you enjoyed it and I'm really looking forward to hearing your thoughts on these new brushes and I hope you are going to have as much fun using them as I had working on them. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a good one.